Gonna go and see Louise and see where she's at in the van. Oh, oh, if I don't fall over. I'm in the van. I can see you in the van. What are you doing? Electric cook-up. Yay! Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've cut the hole. We haven't filmed that because we're at hole number one, two, three, four, five, so over cutting holes now. Uh, but basically it's going to come in here. Hole number six, please. Hole number six. Who's counting? Um, so that's all cut, fold back, brush treatments on there. The same as if you want to see how to cut a hole in the van, just watch one of the other videos about the roof lights on the windows. Um, basically the process is exactly the same. Uh, so I've done that. I'm now going to go and Google like mad the correct way to install this thing because I'm not, I'm not confident. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and wire it up. We'll film that and then we'll come back and put it in. Then we'll film that and then if that's the end of the video it's because oh, I've died. <laughs> so yeah, wish me luck. You are recording. I'm recording. Right, so this is what we've bought. Uh, it's just a kit off the internet. I've got this flush fit piece for the outside. Um, this RCD MCB. Uh, we've got a single socket and a double socket. And this earth cable. And then this big wire. So for now, I'm just going to connect this up so that I can then feed this through the hole and get this fitted. Uh, so we'll have a go at that. Um, I'm not an electrician. And I've done a lot of research on the internet and I think this is the correct way or the best way to do it. There's a lot of very different opinions. So we're just going to go for this and pray like mad. Um, so bear with me, this bit's going to take me a while. So I need to take the... Okay, so what have we got? So we've got live. You're not going to be able to see that, but that side's live. Neutral. And yeah, earth. Oh, that's fine. Hmm. So live is brown. So basically, you take the brown wire to the live, the blue wire to the neutral. And the yellow and green wire to the earth. Uh, so we're going to want. There's a couple of little screws there. You need to release those, so you can poke your wire down in there. So if we connect up. So. That's it all wired up, so you just want to make sure they're in there nice and tight, which they are. I'll pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Um, what I should have done is threaded that onto here first, but I didn't, so I'm going to have to come from the other end. So I've got live on the left, so brown on the left, neutral on the right, so blue on the right, and earth in the middle, so earth the cable in there. Um, I've managed to get all my copper in there, nothing's poking out and I'm in there, so hopefully This thing is really cool. Uh, it's a wire stripper. So normally I'd use a standing knife or some cable snips, but 
because there's going to be a lot of electrics to do. I went out and got that this morning, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's an automatic gate, so it doesn't matter what thickness your cable is, it just does it for you. So you just line it up in there, pinch, and off it comes. So pretty impressed with that. Right. Little things. So then we'll take this bit to the van. So we're back outside the van and Louise is going to do something. Yeah, so I've left all my cable on because I don't really know uh, where everything exactly is going to be yet. So I'll cut that down once it's in and we've decided where we're going to put everything. So I just need to feed. I think you should have untangled it first. To take it off and use Sikaflex instead, but that's pretty well stuck on there, so I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. So that's in there, and underneath. Yeah, there's four holes. I'm just gonna take those bits of foam out. I've been out and I've bought some stainless steel self-tappers, which I don't think are going to be long enough, but we'll try it. If not, I've got some others, but they're not stainless, so... Then I'm going to try without pre-drilling, uh, see how it goes. If not, I'll have to pre-drill it, but... Not long enough. Yep. Right, bear with me, I've got to go for some longer ones. We'll be back. Got longer ones? Yeah, remember when we'd done the last van? Yeah. When I was finished, you said, right, can we throw everything away now? And I said, no. Oh. Don't start. So these are slightly longer. If not, I've got some beastly ones. But... you're showing off your skills here. You said I had skills. <laughs> oh, that's better. Thanks. <laughs> I'm always here to support. Done. So I don't know how good that final gas is going to be, but if not, we'll take it off and put some sealant behind there, but yeah. Woohoo! So we've put it on this side of the van, uh, because our sliding door's on the other side of the van, and didn't really want the cable wall where we sit, and especially with the dog and everything, so we just put it on this side, um, and gone for the flush bit. All done? All done on this side. We're going to go inside. Yep, we're going inside. <laughs> Shooting my ass. <laughs> yeah. Good shot, that. Right, so.
feels pretty solid. So yeah, that's my incoming cable, and then what I'll need to do next is I'll need to wire up the RCD, um, take an earthing point to the chassis somewhere, and then from the MCBs off of that I can run for my plugs, um, but I need to get a board and whatnot, so we'll come back to that. Okay. I'm in. Eh? I'm filming. Oh, okay. <coughs> um... Right, so it's been a couple of weeks since we put the outside part on, um, and now we've finished it. Has in. it been two weeks? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I've installed the inside, I didn't film any of this because... Uh, she was scared. Well, yeah, and I was busy and I had no assistance or any kind of help whatsoever, so... Um, got a cold. <laughs> oh, <broken arm laughs> uh, but I've just made up this uh, temporary board which I've bolted to the, the chassis for now just to hold all this in place. Um, so where was we at? So we put that in, hadn't we? And that was it. Yeah. Right, okay, so from here, we've got our mains cable, which, uh, you've got your, your live, your neutral and your earth coming from that. Uh, this is the way I've wired it up. I've done loads of research, asked loads of questions, spoke to various different, uh, electricians and whatnot just to be sure that this is the correct way to do it because I really wasn't sure. Um, so if this is wrong, then well, I'm sorry, but it's wrong. <laughs> but it seems to be okay. So uh, from there, that cable runs into our consumer unit. Uh, so I've just got mine coming in through the back, just so I haven't got cables running everywhere. But basically, you will have. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there. You'll have a live feed coming down into the top, mine's on the left. Uh, you'll have a neutral feed going down into the right. So this is all coming from this cable. So the live feed from this cable comes into there, the neutral comes into there, and then the earth feed, which is the green and yellow one, goes up onto this earth bar. So we've got an earth bar here, a neutral bar this side. From this earth bar, and this is where a lot of the confusion and the controversy is, I've then got another earth wire that comes from this earth bar straight out and onto the chassis. Um, some people say don't, the majority of people found say do and there's loads of different arguments for each case but we've gone for the option of earthing it because that's what seems to be the general consensus. Also the manufacturer that supplied this and other manufacturers that do similar units all provide you with this earth wire and say you earth to the chassis so we've done that. Um, when you earth it to the chassis, you'll need to make sure you rub off with just a bit of sandpaper all this paintwork so that you get a good contact there between this earth wire and your chassis. So it's pretty simple really. Um, it's a bit fiddly, it's a bit awkward, but if you're not used to electrics like me, it's a pain in the ass. but we got there in the end. Then on the left hand side of this unit, you've got two MCBs, uh, a 6 amp and a 16 amp in this one. What I've done is I've just wired up the 6 amp for now just to run this single socket um, because I only really want to use it at the minute for running a light uh, but eventually I, we're going to wire up a double socket to that 16 amp which will go up to the kitchen Which will be over here somewhere Somewhere Yeah, Emily's going to build that so <laughs> <laughs> We'll see Right, from the 6 amp side, and it gets a little confusing to see because there's sort of cables everywhere, but basically from the 6 amp side we've got the brown live coming straight out the top of the MCB. Then we've got a blue, the blue neutral goes to the neutral bar, and then the earth goes to the earth bar there. So that's the three bits of cable coming from this end of the cable. My blue cable then runs behind this and it comes in through the back of the plug. Uh, and then you just need to do the same. So your brown, which is your live, goes to your live point. Your blue, which is your neutral, goes to your neutral point. And then your earth, which is green and yellow, goes to your earth point. They're all clearly marked on the back of that plug. Um, and as on here, it tells you E on this side is your earth, N on that side is your neutral. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, so what we're going to go and do now, plug it in. And test it. And test it. So I'm going to put all this back together. <coughs> um, and, and I'm then, going to go and get a lamp. Yeah, then we'll either have power in the van 
Well, worst case scenario, you'll make 250 quid off of you being framed. Bonus. So we'll see. This is the extension lead for the electric hookup, and this is a little adapter that um, Louise bought so that we could plug it in and test it for in the house and stuff. So hopefully it works. You can be the plug in if you want. So we're back in the van. I've given Louise our lamp. <laughs> I've plugged it in inside using the adapter. Yep, uh, that's going to be handy because we'll be able to charge the battery up from the house when we uh, eventually have batteries. <laughs> uh, so, right then. Let me know, we're coming over. So in here you've got three, uh, three switches, your RCB side and your two MCBs. We turn that one on, then we should be able to test it if you turn it on at the wall windows. Yeah. Yeah? So yeah, that trips. That's fine. And then we're plugged into <coughs> this side, this one. We should be able to turn that one on. Bad boy in. Ready? Yes. Yeah! It works. Doesn't there be light? <coughs> um, that's good, so you can do more work out here for longer. Do more work out here for longer, that's right, yes. <laughs> um, you probably notice, I think when we first put this in, we didn't have this sound deadening in, so we're going to do a video uh, for that, like a before and after, to see if it has made any real difference and if it's worth doing. Uh, so I'll put the link for that in the description eventually once we get around to to doing that one. But yeah, I think yeah, no shocks or anything, so yeah, hopefully that's it. Bonus. Let there be light.